Okay, so I'm chilling at Starbucks. I paint portraits of people, right? Then I check my email and I got a, I got a message from Mass Appeal saying that there's an open call for video treatments for Nas and Jason Goldwatch. And my mind is like blown, bro. Like, bro, fuck. Whoa. You know, not only is Nas one of my favorite rappers of all time, I was born in 88, so I basically just grew up on his music. I remember distinctly when I heard one mic, I was like, man, this dude is the greatest. And then Jason, Jason Goldwatch, man, like, Low key, I've been I've been a fan of his work since he was shooting videos of NERD, Chad Hugo in the studio explaining how the grinding beat came about. You know what I mean? So it's been a minute, man, so I see the grind and I recognize it. So when I read over the, the contest guidelines in the brief, one thing that I really wanted to take into consideration with my idea was how could we capitalize or represent the idea of past meeting present and the potential for future. And how could we attack that idea while at the same time keeping in mind YouTube's creator space and how we could fully utilize it and incorporate it into the video and have it all make sense together. So I came up with this idea. My proposal is a single take video that focuses on Nas and his symbolic journey through time using light and dark animated typography, hand rendered typography, and fluid illustrations, think Justin Bua style, to create these miniature vignettes telling the story of not only the song, the lyrics, but the lifetime of Nas. I wrote a treatment. I'm gonna post it below the video so that you can read it. I'm gonna be reading it off my cell phone because I just wrote this like 10 minutes ago. I don't have it memorized. Think of me like Drake, you know, when he was spitting off the Blackberry, except for I'm not Drake. All right, so we start with a black screen with two large X's painted with white paint on a black brick wall. A rim light slowly starts to illuminate a figure standing in the middle ground as the camera slowly dollies in. We hear the track represent start playing. It's chanting, represent, represent. A key light begins to shine on the front of the figure and reveal it's Nas wearing all black. History clothing, product placement. As Nas recites the first lines of the first verse, the painting in the background becomes runny. The paint starts to get real drippy. The painting turns into the lyric, last in the jungle, as Nas recites that line, adding emphasis to where he's referencing. The camera is now at a medium close-up and begins to travel in a 360 degree fashion around Nas while continuing to slowly zoom in on him. His world is cloaked in darkness, but as he spits his rhymes, a spotlight begins to shine over his shoulder in the distance. Nas spits the lyrics, the corner is the hot spot full of mad criminals. The light begins to illuminate. We see a group of 1990s thugs arguing with a group of modern thugs. Their setting in the distance is very minimal. It looks almost like a stage play with just a few prop clues to give it context. A street light, a lamp post, garbage can. The camera never breaks its 360 degrees around Nas, slowly zooming in on his face. Now it's in front of him as he looks into the heavens reciting lines like, the D's on the roof trying to watch and knock us. Another spotlight illuminates in the distance and we see two men peering over a rooftop ledge one with binoculars and another with a notepad and a camera. The camera completes another revolution and is now in front of Nas for the second time, but now it's zooming out. Nas's key light now fades down, leaving just the rim light so that you can make out his silhouette against the dark background. A spotlight appears on his right side, illuminating the group of thugs that we just saw continuing to argue with each other. But then a spotlight illuminates on his left side in the distance. Two squad cars roll up, one in 1994, one of 2014, the cops hop out, the thugs break, it's chaos. But in an instant, everything in the background is super slow motion, like a thousand frames per second. But Nas, rotating just his silhouette, continues to spit at normal speed. A light begins to illuminate the background to reveal a big white wall with words written in big black graffiti hand style lettering. And they say, rebel of the street corner. 
as Nas hits that lyric. Nas has now finished his revolution, back facing straight onto the camera, still shrouded in darkness. The only thing that you see is his silhouette. As soon as the camera starts to settle from pulling back, the beginning of the second verse hits. Yo, the key light comes back full force. But in an instance, without seeing any type of transition, instead of seeing the same Nas that we saw from the first verse, we now see Nas in a big green coat and a green hat from the Ain't Hard to Tell video. Real 1990s style. He's real animated, he's loose with his delivery. And this time, he begins to rotate in 360 degrees. And as he changes his axis, it reveals that the Nas from the first verse is standing back to back with him. So now we have two Nas's on screen, 1994, 2014. And they're delivering the second verse back to back cameo style. The camera begins to dolly in. As the two run back to back, a 3D fat tip marker line begins to trace around the room. And as they continue to spit the second verse, this line begins to illustrate their words, both with typography and with really loose, fluid illustrations. Think Justin Bua sketches. The line illustrates things like elevator doors opening and closing, gazelle frames, fat gold rope chains, fly chicks, Queensbridge. The camera starts to pull back again and the lights lower. So we go from an all white background back to a black background, leaving just the rim light so that you can see the silhouette of the two Nazis spitting back to back. The chorus comes back in. Represent, represent. Now on cue at the end of the first bar from the third verse, without any noticeable transition, a projector cuts on. It seems as if it's placed directly behind the camera lens and it's showing an image of the 1970s Queensbridge, but it's not projecting on the two Nazis we just saw from the verse before. Instead, it's on the face of a small child, a young Nas, reminiscent of the original Illmatic cover art. But every so now and again, the movie skips. And when it skips, it shows the two X's over each eye, symbolizing the 20th anniversary and the new album artwork. The camera starts to dolly in on the boy as the lights raise slightly in the room, bringing it to a 50% gray. In the background, you see Oludara walking in and he's carrying a crate of records. The camera settles in on a medium close-up of the boy as Olu hands him a handful of records. A young Nas takes the records and he begins to walk to his left until he comes against a big 1960s style wooden family turntable. He puts a record on, drops the needle. The camera begins to dolly back out a little bit and it reveals that there's a carpet on the floor and there's a couch. The young Nas sits on the couch and begins to listen to the music bobbing his head. The camera starts another 360 degree revolution. And this time, in the distance, we see those cops arresting several of those thugs. We see some of those thugs arguing with the cops from the first verse. We see the two Nas's giving commentary on what was going on. We see Olu and his band playing in the background. We see several influences. We see DJ Premier cutting up records, making beats. These are all small vignettes going on in the peripheral as the camera stays focused on a young Nas in the middle. The camera finishes his last revolution is back dead on with young Nas and begins to pull back one more time. All the lights fade down to black again, leaving just one rim light showing the silhouette of a young Nas sitting on his couch. Then two big X's are painted on a wall behind him in white. The rim light cuts off. The video ends exactly where it started, forever repeatable, symbolizing the timelessness of Illmatic the timelessness of a song called Represent and the timelessness of a career of a man named Nas. That's what I'm concerned with, it's just trying to make some, some a dope video. That's, that's all I really want to do, and I hope that we can do that together. Thank you, Nas. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Mass Appeal. Thank you, everybody who watched. Um, and hit like and share and say, y'all need to pick Xavier's video. Uh,
Um, that's all I got to say. All right, peace.